New Year's Eve, gonna go around and see some friends, gonna keep it a brief one, you're not gonna get to see any of my New Year's Eve, it's not gonna be interesting. So we're gonna do my top 10 sneakers that I picked up this year, purely my favourites, nothing to do with the rest of the everybody else says kind of thing. Let me hand you back over to me. Three, two, one. Well, it's nearly the end of 2016. Welcome to Ty Kicks Vlogs end of year sneaker pickup top 10. It's gonna be the top 10 of my favorite shoes. It's not necessarily gonna be a top 10 of the best releases of the year. I just wanted to give you a lowdown of what I managed to cop this year, how I managed to cop them and basically just give you my own reasons. It is my first year of vlogging, it's my first 14 weeks of vlogging and you guys have managed to make my channel more of a success than I expected it to be in 14 weeks. I've got, you know, I've gone from zero to 120 subscribers at this moment in time and I'm just hoping that 2017 is just going to make it grow bigger and bigger and hopefully I can give you more content and you can see what this industry has to offer anyone who may be new to sneaker culture or new to what's currently trending and i'm just gonna go along for the ride so let's get into my top 10 personal choices and the reasons why for 2016. my first pair at number 10 is going to be the Yeezy Boost 350 V1 in the Oxford Tan colorway. Now, these did release at the end of 2015, yet yeah, I didn't manage to get hold of them in the initial drop. I did manage to pick them up at resale and an extremely good resale price just after New Year. And this was officially my first Yeezy. I have never owned one before. I dreamed about owning a pair and when these came around I just couldn't turn them down. So yeah, you know, the Oxford Tan colorway is an interesting colorway. It doesn't necessarily go with every fit available. I've found it very difficult to really match a fit. As you can see, the soles are pretty shiny new and yeah, it's been difficult to find a match for them. But who knows what the future may hold. That was the Yeezy Boost in Oxford Tan. The V1s, they were my first ever pair of Yeezys. At number nine is the newest release that I've managed to pick up. And that is the uh, white tri-color NMDs that released on Boxing Day. I managed to get hold of these from Foot Asylum at retail. And when I saw them, I just thought, wow, they looked so much better in real life than in the uh, in the photographs I saw. You know, I, I initially was sort of like on the fence. I kind of sort of thought I liked the more sort of darker colorway of the tricolor. Uh, and in all fairness, this definitely is a, a much cooler colorway for me. These suit me better. I definitely think that if I ever came across the darker colorway, I you know get them at a good price, and I will definitely pick them up in the future. But you know, as it stands, we're coming to the end of 2016 and I have these in my hands and I'm very happy with them so far. So that was my number nine. Number eight in the list and it is going to be the uncaged Ultra Boost in the blue colorway and also in the white colorway. I am putting them both together purely for the fact they are the same shoe. They did release quite a few different colorways of the uncaged Ultra Boost and these two, I not only got the blue as my first ever colorway, I also got it under retail and that was a pretty amazing cop. But then I managed to cop the triple white 
in a restock through size and was just absolutely amazed when I first saw them come in the post I was just like I'm so glad I've managed to finally get a pair of the white uncaged I have got all of the other white caged ultra boosts that have come out apart from the J and D so yeah at number eight are the uncaged ultra boost they are one of the most comfortable ultra boosts that you can wear they fit like a glove and they're just like having a pair of boosts strapped to your feet at number seven is the 3.0 triple white ultra boost now i expected these to drop in 2017 but they actually did release just before christmas this year and i'd already got the black pair as a sample as you may have seen in my previous vlogs the black pair really gave me a taste for these i really think they're the one of the most comfortable shoes that I have. Obviously, I've just said that the uh, Uncage Ultra Boost are one of the most comfortable. This definitely comes in close. Looser fit, so more slipper-like than sock-like, but I like that. I really do like these shoes for their, uh, th their overall look as well. The whites look amazing, and I do like the very light kind of gray pattern that goes through them and they just fit beautifully so you know the only other shoe that fits like this is maybe the Soulbox Ultra Boost uh, for being a little bit looser definitely true to size on these ones compared to previous Ultra Boosts but these are my number seven for 2016. Number six and this is controversial and many people will turn around and tell me that you know I'm, I'm really sort of <laughs> splitting and dividing based on colorway but I am going to be going for the V2 Yeezy Boost 350s in the white and black colorway and also in the red colorway. Um, these were the two that I managed to cop uh, this year and I'm very, very happy that I managed to get a couple of pairs of the Yeezys. I'd never get Yeezys at retail. I always find it incredibly difficult to pick up a pair of Yeezys at retail. I can. I did have the triple black caged Ultra Boost yeah, I was very disappointed in the overall quality of the production of that shoe. It was so sad for me to let go of those because I felt like they were going to be one of my favourite shoes. And when I put them on feet, I thought they were amazing, but I could not get out of my head the, the poor quality of their production and people haven't had that problem but i wasn't happy with my personal pair who knows i may cop them again in the future might come across some that have been better produced but to get these on of all days christmas eve was just an amazing present so yeah but to get hold of them i have to let some shoes go to let some shoes come back number five number five is going to be going to the 1.0 triple white ultra boost and i'm going to tell you why these are my number five these are by far my favorite triple white ultra boost they beat 2.0 i picked them up this year they didn't make the cut as everyone has said that they didn't like so much the gradient pattern and them you know the 3.0s are definitely an upgrade but these being the 1.0s are the original they are the best they do fit sort of slightly tighter than the 3.0s and I'll tell you the reason why I love these so much is I picked these up for retail by absolute chance in January 2016 on a shopping trip around a mall in Stockholm, Sweden visiting friends. I walked into an Adidas store in Stockholm and there they were sitting on the shelf and I just could not turn them down. I picked them up and was just giddy, knowing full well that they were so hard to cop. Uh, I love the Triple White Ultra Boost in 1.0 and these are my number five pick. And I'm going to give number four to my sample pair of the Black 3.0 Ultra Boost and I'm gonna tell you why. Now, this is controversial everyone's gonna say what you've picked these in front of the 1.0 whites you've picked these in front of the uh, Yeezy V2s in the white and red you're insane well I'm gonna tell you why this shoe has made this channel for me this year 
you know, before this shoe, I was getting anywhere between 50 and 150 views and I had very little subscribers. And then I came across a guy, his name is Sean Lee. Shout out to Sean Lee. He came through for me with these as a sample pair of the 3.0s before they released, days before they released in the US. And I managed to get them at least two and a half weeks before the UK release. These were the sneak peek that gave me over a good couple of thousand views. And when I did the full review where I'd liquid proof them as well, it's now still going at 7,000 plus views. So if you haven't watched it, go and watch it. I know that these are out now, but it is definitely a worth a view and review. The road test of these uh, made tie kicks for 2016. And these are definitely a worthy number four for me personally. Number three are the Pirate Black Yeezy 350 Boost V1s. I got these in the, uh, these are the 2.0 versions. I missed out on the 1.0s and was dying to get a pair of these. And I was, I, I was just sort of like cringing at the thought of having to pay any kind of resale, but I got them for a good price. The seller was quite local to me and uh, did me a, a solid on giving me a good price for these. And these were definitely a grail shoe of uh, one of the shoes I wanted to get for this year and I managed to pick them up and uh, these are sick. I can wear these with loads of different fits and I just I just love them, I love them. These are not leaving my sight. Number two, big one, big one, is the OG Yeezy 350 V2s and my reason for these was I got a great price I didn't again get them. Uh, I'm going to tell you the reason why I don't get any shoe very quickly for uh, retail is I live in a broadband blackout zone. There are no stores that sell decent kicks near me, so I have to just get what I can, how I can. But I got these. I got these before my little boy was born. I wore these in my first vlog video. I wore these at hospital. These will forever stay in my collection because of what they mean to me and what happened with me in these shoes. This year was a big year for me uh, with my baby boy Louis, who you may see in the vlog quite a few times. But these are my number twos and I love these shoes. These are going nowhere. And number one for me that I wanted in my collection, I'd been wanting them for a long, long time. I let go of my OG NMDs to pick these up. I picked them up at the obviously back end of uh, 2015. Uh, who knows, I may be able to re-pick them up in the uh, re-release of them at some point in the beginning of next year. If you have a UK9 put in my direction, but my number one for 2016, my pickup, my favorites, were the Soulbox Ultra Boost. I've wanted these for so long. I think they're sick. I love the red sole on them. I love the wool upper on them. I love the suede uh, heel counter. It's like a leather suede heel counter. Um, the consortium tabs on the tongue. They, they do fit quite large, but everything about this shoe was just amazing when they came out. And I just love the red sole. The red sole just kind of just makes it, just makes this shoe so awesome a cop for me to get. And this is why it is my 2016 favourite shoe.
Finally, and the last thing to talk about is the giveaway. For your chance to win Liquid Proof Premium Shoe Protector, the Eco Cleaner, and the Embossed Brush, Bristle Brush, they can all be yours with three simple things. Like the video, give me a thumbs up, tell me that you really enjoyed what you've seen. Also, don't forget, it's really important that you subscribe to the channel if you really enjoy it. Comment below, I want it. The competition ends tonight. Tomorrow will be the day that I pick the winner and that is your opportunity to win something. Really wanna give back to you guys because you guys are the ones that make this channel. 2016 has been a pretty eventful year for me and my shoe collection. It's only going to get better in 2017. I really, really appreciate all of you guys watching the vlog, seeing my little boy arrive into the world. 2016 has been pretty mega for his arrival and my life sort of changing completely. I really, really hope you have a fantastic new year. Enjoy yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Take into account. You gotta have fun on New Year. Keep your eyes peeled for next week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed this one. Take care.